will be great for short bait. Uh, That's probably the biggest thing. Bring him out. Watch your feet. Watch your feet, lights. Holy Moses! Oh yeah! Yeah! Hello everybody and welcome to the third Beard Fishing Channel. In today's video we are heading down to the Sebastian River again tonight to do some shark fishing. I'm currently in my office getting all packed up and getting ready to go and I'm really excited. I love shark fishing. It's one of my favorite things to do and I just cannot I, can't, I cannot even express to you how much I enjoy this. Um, I'm going to be doing some new things today uh, with the shark fishing. I actually have a new GoPro light um, so you guys will be able to actually see a little better with the GoPro that's on my chest at night. Um, I also have an additional GoPro that I will be, uh, it's an old GoPro Hero 4 with a waterproof case. I'm going to try to get some footage of the sharks swimming underwater as they swim off, which I think will be pretty cool. We'll see if that works. It may not, but we're going to try and see. Um, I'll let you all know. <laughs> if you see it in the footage of this video, it worked. If you don't, it didn't work. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to do a lot of new things for y'all and add some new stuff to the videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, let's get fishing. Before we begin this awesome video, I want to show you guys something. My views are mostly from non-subscribers, about 86%. So if you guys are watching this and you are not subscribed, please take the time to subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and I greatly appreciate your subscription. Now, back to this awesome video. So we arrived at our fishing site and got all set up before dark, and did a little bit of just regular fishing. Uh, we were catching some mangrove snappers, and we also did some cast netting for some mullet and had a really good time. We were also greeted with these awesome little wood storks that liked to hang out with us while we were sitting there waiting. Uh, it was really cool and uh, we were really excited about the night. It should have been, we were expecting a really good night of fishing. No, it dropped it. It dropped. Good job, bro. Darn. You want me to cast it? Yeah. I'll get a running start to it. What do you think? Any marks? No. Alright. He could have had it all in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Thought y'all were going to continue coming this way, but you weren't. <laughs> Still got one. Still got one. How's he feel? Small. Small one? Yeah. Alright. I don't know if we need it. Here, let me have it. Still got a lot of fight in him. Bring him out. Watch your feet. Watch your feet, Lace. Got a remora. There's the bull shark. 
Yep. Here. Flip them on the side. There you go. There you go, Solomon. Yep. All right. You guys gotta get back. Yeah, back up, y'all. Right. Rip off. Ready? You got me? Yep. Go ahead. Oh, I got it. all right everybody so that was shark number one uh and it is now currently uh 9 26 p.m or 21 26 um we usually get our first shark it seems like right around this time uh every time we come down here so uh yay got our first shark in the bag a little bit bigger than the bull shark we caught last last time we we were down here, but still pretty small one, but shark's a shark, and we're really glad to have it. Uh, unfortunately, my DJI was not filming at the moment, so uh, it'll all be on, on my GoPro. <laughs> so I'll have to remember to make sure that that thing has got the red light going on and we're filming on this so you guys can get a better view on that. And I also forgot to get the uh, underwater footage. It just It's a little crazy uh, at the moment when sharks are... Uh, coming in because we got to try to get them in and out so anyway let's see what else we get tonight so uh Lacey just caught this beautiful awesome st male stingray here uh, which will be great for shark bait uh, this is probably the biggest stingray that I've I've been around so this will be great good job You all right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Get up, please. I see him out there. Yep, there he is. He is. Not huge. Ah, Little one. Probably don't even need a tail rope on this one. You don't think so? Nah. So what you see that I'm doing is I'm actually using bolt cutters to cut the hook, uh, which cuts the hook in half, and the hooks will actually rust out in about two to five days, something like that. So uh, it doesn't harm the shark or anything, but this shark actually spazzed out before I even cut the hook. It was kind of intense. Uh, these little sharks can be a little bit dangerous, a lot, a lot more dangerous than the bigger ones. Come on. There you go. Unhooked. We're good. Woo! That was nuts. So this happened to be Lacey's first large shark, and uh, it was a really cool experience for her. So we're really glad she was able to catch one and look forward to having her on future shark trips with us. Between him and the water. Perfect. Good release. Good job. Good job. All right, everybody. So uh, it's just it's 12 minutes after midnight, and just like a minute after midnight, got another big hit on my rod, and he took it for a little while and dropped it. So still haven't gotten one on my rod yet, but we we're two sharks in. We're gonna hopefully be. Uh, staying long enough till we can finally say we've gotten th at least three sharks in one night. So uh, we're just going to keep seeing what we can do. But uh, Lacey's stingray uh, that we, we got, 
she caught and we cut up that that seems to have done the done the the best job because we're getting getting bites so all right let's see what else we can catch Holy Moses. oh yeah yeah Yeah. Oh. 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 There he goes. <laughs> now he knows he's hooked. Oh, this is a big fish. Yeah, this one's big. Much bigger than what we've been catching. Okay. Come on, buddy. Just saw it. Ugh. Yeah, there he is. He's right here. One second. Let me get him in. Oh. Yeah, buddy, I know. You don't want him here. Hold on, let me get him closer. Oh. <laughs> got it? Here, I got you. That's good. That's here, good right there. You good? That's good right there. Okay. I heard somebody say something. Uh, hey, thank you. Watch those. Stingray. Yep, watch those hands, man. There you go. Good job. You mind if I get a picture with this one? Uh, yeah. You're strong. So if you've been hearing my me breathing very hard while pulling this shark in, it's because this shark was fat. This was a very, very thick bull shark. It was our biggest of the night. It's not my longest shark I've caught, but it was definitely my heaviest. It had to be at least 100 pounds, most likely. Uh, just real chunky. I believe it was a female, um, and there's a chance it could have been a pregnant female, too. You never know. It could swim an upriver to, to give birth to some pups, so... Uh, it was a really fun fight, and I, I just, I'm addicted to this stuff. He's good. There you go. That is a weird bite. The, uh, Lift it up. Set the drag. He's still on. And now set the hook. Go ahead. There you go. There you go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did he pop? Did he drop it? Yep. I think so. That was a weird bite. Tip up. 
Ooh, boy. Yeah, look at that, lady. That is serrated. Yeah, we'll go back out. Yeah. I would. <laughs> that was the creepiest bite. It just... <laughs> All right, everybody. So it's, uh, it's about 2.30, and uh, we didn't get our fourth shark. Uh, we did have one bite it was kind of weird I, hopefully I yeah, was able to include that footage of that weird bite I don't know if I got it or not but uh, just haven't had any more and we're getting eat up by bugs now so we're gonna go ahead and pack it in so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video this one was uh, probably our funnest night we have had so far uh, all three of us got the reel in a shark and uh, it was great can't wait to come back out and do it again um, but all in all, great night. Love, love shark fishing. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you know when I upload a new video. And until next time, I'll see you back on the water. Take care. Hello everyone. If you could, I'd love for you guys to check out my father-in-law's YouTube channel. It's a YouTube channel that I also edit videos for called Bearded Lumber. They are a full service sawmill and kiln channel and they are an amazing channel i hope you guys will check them out the link is in the description of this video so check them out you'll really really enjoy this youtube channel thank you thanks for watching the third beard channel here's a video selection and here's a playlist suggestion be sure to subscribe thank you